हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज अशोक दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ एपेक्स ट्रिगर्स इन ट्रिप प्रेसन सीरीज वेर इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव कवर्ड इंट्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स लाइक वट आर एपेक्स ट्रिगर्स वेर एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट देम हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रिगर्स वी हैव वट आर ट्रिगर इवेंट्स एंड कंटेक्स्ट वेरिएबल्स एंड वट ऑल बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस वी शुड फॉलो वाइल राइटिंग एपेक्स ट्रिगर्स सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज और वॉन्ट टू लर्न दीज टॉपिक्स देन यू कैन फाइंड लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड गो थ्रू देम and today in this video we will learn how we can write an apex trigger for a given requirement so we will start with a simple use case or scenario then in upcoming videos we will start picking little advanced use cases as well all right and now let's have a look on use case that we will cover today in this video so the use case is a company wants to automate the process of getting associated contact record when new account records are created which means whenever a new account record is created then company also want to automatically create a contact record link to that account so this is the simple requirement where we need to create a contact record when a new account get created and associate that contact with account right so as i said in trigger introduction video that if you want to automate or automatically perform custom logics on dml operations then triggers can help us though record triggers flow can also be used here I mean this requirement can be easily achieved through the record triggers flow as well but here our intent is to learn triggers so we will complete this use case with the trigger only okay now i think you are clear with the use case and before moving into practical implementation first let's see a few important questions which we should always ask to ourselves whenever we want to start writing trigger for any requirement or use case so first question is on which object we should create trigger this is very basic and essential thing and to identify this we need to know triggering point and in our current requirement we have to create contact when we create new account so here triggering point is account creation it means whenever we will perform insert operation on account object then there we need to write code to automatically create contact record as well right so in this case we will create trigger on account object and next question we have this trigger event so knowing in which trigger event we should write code is very important because it help us to execute our code at right time and place and this decision should be taken on the basis of operation type which we want to perform in trigger so as per current scenario we have to create associated contact record with account it simply means we want to create related records and about this we have discussed in detail in our first introduction video that if you want to perform operation on other related objects or want to work with related records then we have to go with after triggers so event will be after insert and also here we will require account id and you know in before insert context we don't have id generated that will be available in after insert so in insert operation if you want to use record id then always you have to go with after insert event so finally here our event will be after insert and our third question we have which context variable we will use to work or access current records so it also depends on many scenarios or what kind of records you want to use and as we have discussed in first video of this series that in triggers we have four context variables which can help us to get triggering records like trigger.new trigger.new map trigger.old and old map and here trigger.new can help us to get new or modified records and new map will return us map of modified or new records so if we have a requirement where we want to use map of records then we should go with the new map or if you want to use simply list of records then you can use trigger dot new and in our current requirement we will use this trigger dot new because here we only want to iterate all the accounts which are involved in current dml operation okay so now by considering all these points let's move into the practical implementation and open our developer console or vs code whatever you are comfortable i'll go with the developer console so let's open it and here first let's create and trigger on account object so let's click on file then new then apex trigger and provide account trigger as name and select account as object now click on submit okay so a new trigger has been created on account object with before insert event but you know we want to execute our logic in after insert so let's change it to after insert 
all right now as we have discussed in best practices video that we should always write logic list triggers so let's create a helper class to write our logics so again click on file then new then apex class and provide account trigger helper as class name new apex class created and now here let's create a method to create contact record for each account okay so here i have created a public static method with void return type because as of now we won't return anything as output and method name is create contact for new account and taking account list as input parameter okay now here we want to create contact for each account it means we need to iterate this accounts list so let's use for each loop to iterate And now here first let's create an object of contact like contact then name of object then new again contact so as of now this con is the new instance of our salesforce contact object where all the fields are initialized with the default or null values so here let's assign values in required fields and in which all fields we should assign values that was not specified in our requirement or use case so let's assign values in only required fields okay so here we have assigned values in three fields in last name first name and in account id and in last name we are assigning our account name and in first name we are assigning hard coded value test because there was nothing specified in our requirement or we can remove this as well because this is not a mandatory field mandatory field is only last name and in account id field we are assigning current account id so we have written acc.id and here acc is the instance of account and why we are assigning this account id because this is how our contact will associate to the account okay so as of now here we have only assigned in these three fields but you can assign in more fields as well if required and now to insert this contact into database let's use insert dml statement and provide con as input okay now when program will execute this line then our contact will insert into database right but is it a good approach like here we are performing dml operations inside for loop then answer is no this is not a good approach because as we have discussed in best practices that we should not write SQL queries or DML statements in loops because in this case it will consume separate governor limit for each contact and if you insert multiple accounts in single transaction then we will quickly reach out to governor limits and transaction will fail so to avoid this problem we should always write code in bulkified way and how we can write so let's understand that by converting this code into bulkified way so here first let's declare a list contact property like list then contact then name of list then initialize it and now you know we can hold n number of contacts in this con list property so here instead of inserting each contact individually let's add this contacts object into contact list okay so this is how we have added this contact object into contact list which means contacts for all the accounts will be hold in this con list property and now outside of this loop let's perform dml operation on this list so write insert and con list okay this is so simple right so here now what will happen all the contacts will store in this con list property and finally out of this loop we are performing insert operation on list not on single item so all these contacts will get insert into single transaction and only one dml governor limit will consume and you know in single dml operation we can insert up to 10000 records so it will perfectly work okay and now finally let's call this method into trigger in after insert context
okay so here using context variables i have added condition and call this method so now this method will call only in case of after insert operation right and now to test this functionality let's create a new account from ui so let's open our salesforce org so here i am in accounts tab and i can see here accounts list and to create new let's click on this new button and here just provide only required fields that is account name so let's fill value in this and click on save okay so new account has created and we are redirected on detail page and now here in this context list you can see a test demo of account 5 created it means our functionality is working fine right so as of now we have only tested it with the single account creation but as a best practice we should test the same functionality by creating multiple records as well that will help us to verify our code bulkification okay and to create multiple account records in single transaction we have to write apex code so let's again open developer console and open execute anonymous window and here you can see i have already written a code which will insert multiple account records like here i am performing insert operation with accounts list and providing two accounts so let me change accounts name here like account six and seven and now let's click on execute and see if contact records are created or not code executed successfully now let's open our accounts list all right now we can see contact record for demo account 7 and also for demo account 6 all right now we can see one contact record is automatically created and associated with account when we are creating new account record which means our trigger is working as expected and we have implemented our requirement successfully so that's it in this video where we have learned how to create related records using apex triggers by following best practices and in next video i'll come up with another interesting use case and i hope this video helped you to learn how you can create a trigger for a given requirement from scratch if yes then please help me too by like and subscribe my youtube channel you know that is completely free for you but really helpful for me and that also give me motivation to create more valuable content for you thank you so much for watching i will see you next video